Hey guys, what's up? Lyndon here. So today what I'm doing is that I'm going to give you an idea as to how do you move now uh, sales KPIs that you have written out for your team during the course of the year and now putting that into a format that gives you the ability to really understand the information better, understand your sales person and your sales team activity better. It gives you as a sales manager the ability to make better forecasts and you as a sales professional the ability to have a better snapshot as to what you are doing and as to whether or not you are on top of your KPIs, right? Let's take a look at it. Everyone, every sales professional should be familiar with this, right? So we have the sales quota where the sales professional is going to be receiving this at the beginning of every financial year and is going to give them a breakdown as to what their KPIs are, right? So this is the traditional way. So all of the objectives are going to be listed out here in terms of what is it that you need to be achieving. So we have, you know, particular things like to, um, to achieve at least 90% of your your annual target, uh, to close at least one major deal value that X, X particular value. And again, I'm just using this as a guide to show us to how we're moving it from a written format into a digitized format, right? Apart from that, also, you're looking at what? To visit a VAT. To, if you're looking at being specific on the sales activities, you are also looking at, you know, to visit a certain number of accounts um, during the course of a weekly basis. Of course, you want to be able to prospect over the week. So I guess this these two points kind of flow in together. But also, very specifically, you want to also indicate here that, of course, the number of prospects that your, your sales rep is visiting should be an X value as it relates to new. And, of course, you want to be able to submit your pipeline on a timely manner. Now, the reason why I'm leaving this one here is because from my experience, as a sales manager and also as a sales professional and very early in the game, sometimes stopping to submit reports is a very tedious task. And then sometimes it's also a challenge for the sales manager to keep asking the sales rep, please submit, please submit, please, please submit your reports, right? Beyond that too, let's say for instance, you want to be able to grow, right? So this, this would be all of your sales activities that is looking at new business. But here also you're looking at if you want to grow some particular targeted accounts. So I just pulled some targeted accounts out of my database. So we're seeing here that you know you want to have a targeted account base and you want to be able to grow your A, B, and C base. So you want to move your C customers to B customers, your A customers, sorry, your B customers to A customers, and your A customers to A plus customers, which means that you really want to really you want to grow the business within the account. Now that's really hard to manage if you do not have a proper if you don't have the right tools and these are just some of the targeted accounts that we have now one way that i actually started to do this was i actually started to do it via breaking out my kpis for the team in a particular way so i had it broken out in terms of what the annual target is what the monthly target should be and then also if as we go down here what the weekly objectives so these are your, what your weekly activities should be and this was the older way that i was actually doing it but again it's still difficult to track because of course you're not with your team on a daily basis you're only just looking back at the numbers based upon what is it that they submit so what is the real so what is the actual way now the best way that i really have learned to do this is through the crm and one of the keys that hubspot crm gives you the ability to do is that hubspot really gives you the ability to capture all of this information from right within the crm and as soon as your sales rep updates their CRM in terms of the activities, it's tied into their emails and everything else, everything here auto-populates itself. So now the sales manager no longer has to ask, well, did you submit? First thing and foremost, I don't know, no longer have to keep asking them to submit and they don't have to worry about submitting, oh, I have this report to submit because that takes away time from them sometimes, right? So you get a snapshot as to what the deal forecast is when they put their deals in, and of course each stage of the up each stage of the deal is going to be broken down here within the CRM for you. The other area is of course in terms of your deal snapshots. So we can see um, how many opportunities is in the quotation phase, what's in the proposal submitted phase, what's in the close one phase, and of course you get to look at it month over month, right? So in this example we're only looking at two. Now mind you, I'm not going to drill into the accounts. Right, but each one, the reason why you're seeing that where it says count of deals and it says three is because if I were to click on this, it would actually open up and it will show you the, the, the opportunities, it would show you the customers. So now the sales manager can actually now go can actually now have a specific conversation about each opportunity. Right? Um, if it is again we're looking at sales uh, activity, contacts created by day, right? So remember that we had that particular thing where you want to do at least 50 at least 50 visits a day, I think, and out of that 50, sorry, 50 visits a week, and out of that 50, you wanted 20 to be brand new, you can actually track that within here. 
And this actually also represents your sales outreach. Now, your sales outreach, this is a template that we use, right? And it would indicate how many emails were sent using these particular templates. And out of the templates and out of the, the, the emails, what, should, what do you think should happen next? Well, of course, from there, you get to actually track call and meeting types. Now, what's not captured here is how many calls that the sales professional did, but you will be able to see how many meetings that they've had. So they've had approximately 21 meetings over the last 30 days. That's actually not, not bad at all, right? As we go further, you're looking at see new contacts created by source. So again, if the target was to do um, an average of, uh, of, of two, meeting two new, new, new opportunities on two new leads per week, well, then you, this person is kind of on target because they have the new contacts and they're doing it offline. So which means that more than likely they're doing it through, excuse me, they're doing it through a direct outreach in terms of actual prospecting, right? So this is one way of actually doing it. And here's another cool cool thing that you that you can manage. Now, you, you remember when we were talking about your targeted accounts, you can now look at your targeted accounts right here. So in HubSpot, you have the tab where you will see all of your companies, your, your specific companies. And then of course you have your targeted accounts and with the targeted accounts it gives you the ability to highlight all of the accounts that so we had eastern credit union lifestyle motors Trinidad, label presidential and caribbean housing and those accounts are in my targeted accounts list target accounts true and we have caribbean housing so at any point in time the sales manager can now go back and look to see what has been the status, what has been the last activity date, what has been the last thing that you would have done as it relates to growing this particular opportunity and also support them. So you're not just looking at it from a policing standpoint, you're also looking at it from the standpoint of really helping your team. And that's why I really love using HubSpot CRM, but I would, I would, I would recommend that if you're using a CRM in general, this is how your CRM is supposed to help you. Specifically, if you're doing remote work now, because you wanna set new and clear objectives, and also, if, even if your team is field-based, they can actually be updating this while on the road. If it is that they want to stop at a Starbucks or Rituals or any other coffee shop or any location that has Wi-Fi and get their job done. And this can be updated on a daily basis at the end of the day or during the course of the day when they're doing their activities. And there it is. Simple well broken down the crm is built to match the kpis specifically so whatever is written can now be managed because before it was overwritten but there's no proper tool excels don't help you give you the ability to understand that and sometimes it is too robust it takes time for someone to go back and input and make the adjustments it's all right there within your crm guys and you can drill down accordingly it's time to make life easier for yourself as a sales manager and also for your team all right take care peace